Hey, what's cracking, peeps? I'm glad to see you back for yet another episode of Building Buddy. So today what I have for you guys is world edit style region selection in vanilla Minecraft. So today I'm accompanied by Sar. Hey. He is a Turkish redstoner, and he's really been a big help on this project. And uh, so basically, how this works is you step on top of the pressure plate, and you see you are now given three spawn eggs, your northwest corner, your southeast corner, and your paste. Now, basically what you're going to want to do is you place your northwest corner in the bottom northwest corner. Pretty self-explanatory. So you place it down, you can hit F3 to determine where your northwest is, and then you're going to want to place your southeast corner in your uh, upmost southeast corner. And then you can now paste this wherever you want. So let's paste it right here for say. We can just hit the copy and the paste. And you see this house right here was now just cloned. And uh, you also see how, uh, according to where the northwest corner is, that is where you're actually going to paste the structure. And uh, so yeah, that's how that works. We can also choose custom regions inside the house or just anywhere. Uh, it can only be a maximum height of 16 blocks, uh, maximum width and dimensions of 16. So. 16 by 16 by 16. But so let's just say we want to clone a portion of this house. So if we just want to clone maybe, I don't know, let's just say from here to here, and we don't want the roof. We can now, let's just bring it on over here. Let's just place it here. We can now hit the copy button. That will then clone that region right there. And we can hit paste. And yeah, it pastes it according to where northwest corner is. And yeah, so that's that exact region and everything. Uh, we can also execute multiple paste commands at once. So if we just place down our northwest corner and our southeast corner. Sar, do you want to lay down the paste? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have multiple paste squids here. And so when we just hit the copy button... Uh, and then the paste button, you see we pasted this little structure right here multiple times to make a full road. Alright, so me and Sar are now going to show you another example about how it only clones what's inside your custom region and nothing around it. So I'm just going to make a fancy little tree right now and Sar is going to place down some blocks all around it. So we're just shown to you guys that it will, in fact, only clone what's inside our box. Mm, okay, yeah, that, that looks good. So yeah. if we place down our northwest corner, and then if we place our our um, our southeast corner, and then let's just say we want to paste it, oh, I, I don't know, let's put it right here. I'm also going to show to you guys that yeah. it doesn't actually damage any of the terrain except for where the actual blocks are. So if we hit copy and then paste, you see it did in fact only clone the region. The tree. Or yeah, the tree basically. And yeah, so now we can just place down as many of these paste eggs as we want, wherever we want. You want to place them down, Sar? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna place one at the top of the house. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, so that looks good. So now we're gonna turn this place into a forest. So if we just hit the paste button... Oh, there's gonna be some lag, I feel. Yeah. Like... Is it even working? <laughs> I think it's working. I... Did you I think it's working. North northwest corners or paste? No, it's paste. Okay. Let me try to copy and paste it again. So copy yeah. and paste. And yeah, there okay. we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it's so you see, we, we just made an ice okay. tree forest out of this nifty little device. So uh, here's the basic concept. The northwest corner clones uh, 16 blocks in each positive direction and then the north, uh, the southeast corner deletes the leftover. That's basically how it works. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, we made this little diagram here to show you guys. 
So sorry if you just want to hit the buttons. Yeah, okay. Okay. So here's our two points. This point right here is our north, uh, our northwest corner, and this point right here, down inside the southeast. cube, is the southeast. Now, um, so ba basically, first, what's going to happen is it's going to clone everything that is 16 blocks tall, 16 blocks in the positive x direction, but only right to here. And so these blocks right here are all going to be deleted. So, Sar, if you want to. So yeah, yeah, this showed first what's going to happen. So it's going to clone this whole region at the coordinates 100,000, 100,000. Now, next what's going to happen is the same concept. Uh, depending upon how far away it is, it's now going to delete everything in the Z direction, which it just did. And then one final time, we are going to delete everything in the Y direction that's above it. And then that's how it actually leaves you with the region that's inside your two points. All right, so now for actually inside the box. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cluttered, but that's just because I was trying to compress it all down to the smallest it can be. But I'll try to explain it to you guys uh, the best that I can. So it all basically starts with our hopper clock. So we have this, and then uh, what's happening is it's giving all squids the effect of invulnerability, so that way they don't despawn. Uh, and, and then, so, how it works is it's going to test for if there are two squids uh, with the name Northwest Corner and the name Southeast Corner. Once it detects that they are both there, this is an AND gate, and it will give you the tell raw menu. Now, with the tell raw menu, I'll try to find it. When you hit the copy button, what it actually does is it sets your action score to 1. Now, once it does that, it's then going to set the redstone block right up here, uh, which activates the chunk loader. Now, the reason why we use the chunk loader is because the real cool part about the system is that it doesn't cause terrain damage whatsoever. The only region that's going to be damaged is the chunk that is at the coordinates 100,000, 100,000. So as long as you don't have anything in that one chunk, this device will work flawlessly. So uh, the chunk is unloaded, and um, so basically what we're doing is we're setting another redstone block up here. Now this big array of blocks right up here, I'm not going to go into detail about what, what they do, but basically it's the same exact thing that we showed in that cube up there. Uh, it's that concept applied in a more practical way. So it determines how far away uh, the southeast corner is from the northwest corner uh, in each direction, and then it deletes the blocks. And uh, yeah, so that's how that works. And then the, uh, the paste command is just the simple loading of the chunks, and then we are just cloning the region that's inside that chunk masked. Now when we clone it masked, since the only thing that's going to be in there is our custom region and the air blocks, uh, it's going to appear that it's only cloning the air blocks. And um... Only the region. Yeah, did I say that wrong? Yeah, you said only the air. Oh, so yeah, it's only cloning the air blocks. And, oh, <laughs> there I go again. It's only cloning the uh, the region, ba basically, the blocks that are still there. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how this worked. This has been an ongoing project. Sorry, it's taken us like a month to do this, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Actually, the problem was that the fill command doesn't work in chunk load. It doesn't work in loaded chunks with chunk loaders. So. Yeah, it, 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 it's weird. It might be a bug, it might not. But despite the fact is that we got it to work finally. Yeah, we made it work using clone commands. We cloned air blocks instead of filling it with air. Yeah. So, so that's a little tip if you guys want to uh, keep air blocks or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you have not yet subscribed yet, just go ahead, hit that button. You'll get all the newest videos for Building Buddy, all the progress, uh, cool maps and everything, and... Yeah, if you have any suggestions or ideas, just go ahead and comment or private message me. Uh, and yeah, so I've been... So the download link is in the description. And yeah, 
and yeah. I'll be doing a lot with Sar, so look forward to hearing his voice some more. <laughs> All mm -hmm. right. Well, uh, peace.